Chase in Paradise. One finger of rum. Two fingers of coke. Half a lime. Four ice cubes. The island of Guadeloupe has an average yearly temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. That's 79 Fahrenheit. Even when it's in the middle of winter here in the UK, it's about 24 degrees there. White sandy beaches, palm trees, cocktails and steel drums in the distance. Not a care in the world. Somewhere in the world, people get stuck in traffic in a tropical climate. Windows down, warm air rushing through your hair. Buena Vista Social Club on the radio. Sunlight glimmering through swaying palms. Please let me have a traffic jam. It's the best part of the day in that part of the world. What do you mean exactly? Well, you said create a character, that's that's what I've done. Yeah, yeah, no. How can it be off-brand if you didn't tell me what, what you wanted? Is, the branding is used for everything. Yes, you said now that you wanted a little green bird, but at the time you didn't specify that. You, you said specifically it can be anything. If you wanted a little green bird, then that was the time to tell me. This morning we went around to the horse um, and I put it in the field and then I uh, came home. I have this feeling, it's like deep down in the back of my mind. I sort of know that I'm going to end up living on a paradise island. It's just a case of waiting until it happens. I'm not sure when exactly. I'm not going to book a holiday. I don't want to be a tourist. Anyone can do that. No, I'm moving out there. It's just going to happen someday. Beans, hash browns and fried bread. And then I ate that, had some orange. I have enough in my account to just pick up and go. I could chill for a week or two, then just get a job working in a bar or something. They'd all call me a cool nickname and I'd just tell stories of when I decided to move out there. Go back. <laughs> no way. Why work in England when I can work here? God, no. What are you thinking about? Me? Yeah, what are you thinking about? They've got palm trees in Torquay. They planted them all there quite a while back and they're all still there. It's because Torquay has quite a tropical climate considering it's in the UK. They've got palm trees even in the west of Scotland. Really? Yep. You can find palm trees all across the west of the UK. It's all because of the Gulf Stream. Palm trees are one of the ingredients of paradise. You do get them in the UK, and I've thought about buying one myself, but they are fairly expensive. Plus, the kind that I'm thinking of can't even grow in the UK as it's too cold. I mean, imagine that. People should be like that. I think I am like that. Born in the wrong place. I shouldn't be this far north. I was planted in the wrong country. I always think crickets are another ingredient of paradise. Just that sound you hear on an evening. A late night sat by the sea. A few cocktails down you as you sit by the fire and talk about times past. I bought some from the local pet shop and released them into my street, but it doesn't have the same effect. I'm not bothered, it's, it's just a sign. Couldn't give a shit anyway. Mate, you've got to make an effort. It's crap, but it's work. Pay some bills on that. Why are you even complaining? A bloody car cost me a fortune. It's all about driving a nice car, isn't it? In paradise, they don't care. You lose. Drive around in a banger and no one's bothered. It's sunny every day. Car? I'll walk, thanks. I've even gone as far as putting myself into paradise backgrounds in Photoshop. I'm just passing the time. One day I'll update my Facebook with something like... Another day at the beach. Chilling by the bar with a cocktail, listening to some local bands and soaking up the sun. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves back at home at work in the rain. Stuck into something. Somebody comes in and piles more work on me. And I've got the monthly reports to do, as I told you, you know, last night. I'm so stressed Of course, about them. I wouldn't have Facebook. I'm in paradise. No technology. Don't need it. Sand, beach, seafood, cocktails. Spoken to Dan yet about Friday? Jeff? Yep. Yep. Uh, sorry. What, what were we doing on Friday again? You're chasing paradise again, aren't you? I am going to move there, you know. I, I'm not joking. Jamaica, it doesn't even get below 20 degrees Celsius the whole year round. Probably don't want to move there, though. It's a bit too touristy for me. 
Just move out there then. Just bloody go. I'm sick to death of you banging on about it. People tell me that they have the same problems over there as we do in England. Bills to pay, bosses to please, work to do. Everyone's life is difficult. Arguments happen, people fall out, money worries, but who cares? An argument on a tropical beach in the sun is better than at home in Bristol. What's getting to you or a shitty day at work? Who cares? Off to the beach. Cocktails, music, paradise. Bloody car. Reminds me of this guy at the bus stop that time. All right. All right, mate. Nothing number 50 got past yet. I'll skip a bit. Hate this position, especially in the shot. So, how long have you been here? Why? Move here around six years back now. We love Bristol. A great city. Jamaica, though, I mean, that must be awesome. Yeah, man, it's nice. Top your good to one. I don't know, it's just something about the, the whole, the palm trees, the, the sea, sun, the weather, it's always hot, you know? I could have gone on, so I did. You get the, the, the music in the street, the, the, the late nights by the beach, seafood. It's all about life though, isn't it? Yeah, I miss all of that, but I don't give up when I have here. I have my family here. We live in a great city. We have a good job, we pay well. Sure it rain, but that make the sunny amongst them all that sweeter, man. You know? It might have been a train station, actually. The man at the bus stop was called Jake. Jake was a pretty cool guy, even though I still don't understand him. Sure, I get that life is the same the world over, but seriously, if you could choose to live that life anywhere, why settle for this place? There's so many places I want to be. I don't mind my problems, I just want them somewhere else. There's only one life, and so far I've spent 29 years of it in the wrong place. I know I'll end up living in paradise, but I don't want to wait that much longer. When's it going to hit? When will I wake up and get on with my life properly? Yes, well, we're looking at a little green bird, aren't we? If you said it had to be a seagull, it would have been a seagull. That's why we've got a bullfinch. I hear people all the time, things like, Oh, I'm moving to Australia for a year. I'm giving it all up and moving down under. England sucks. But they're all still here. They don't have the balls to do it. What's the point in complaining if you're not going to do anything about it? Do something or just shut the hell up. As for me... Down on his luck. Down. 